I used to get in the back wheel out, I've taken off the chain guard and the sprocket guard. Just makes things a bit easier, you don't have to do, do it. It's got the 27mm axle nut there. It's got the nut. You've got a washer. And you've got the adjuster block. You notice the narrower part goes to the bottom. You're going to want a 12 and a 13 millimeter spanners. Just to loosen the lock nut off. You just wind the adjuster in to give you more space when you put the wheel back in. So then over at the right hand side of the bike, <coughs> if you give you a caliper push, just to get some space between the pads and the discs. And you want to take out the 14 and the 12 millimeter bolts. And you can pick the caliper off, just put it out the side. You can see the little part there where the pads sit into, make sure that goes in. And you put it back together. It's the same with this side, just loosen off the lock nut. And wind it in just to get more space to put it back together easier. And from the left hand side you can slide the axle out. Let the wheel drop. It's got the spacer on the right hand side with the step on it. Just push the wheel forward slightly, pull the chain off the sprocket. Slide the wheel out. Watching the um, caliper bracket on the right hand side. Okay, so with the wheel out, you've got the spacer, goes into the sprocket. You can try and give your sprocket a turn. If there's any play in the cush drive, the sprocket off just slides out. You've got a spacer in there too. your cush drive out, look for any damage to it, any cracks, that's the wheel taken apart. So I'm going to put the cush drive back in, it sits in the place of the narrower gaps on the top. Give it a bit of spray, some silicon spray. It's easy to slide the sprocket in. At the back of the sprocket, you've got another spacer. It goes the deeper side into the bearing. And just line it up with the cush drive. Push it into place. Then you've got your spacer. Just sits in into the seal. If you turn it around, you got the space out there. Step on, goes near the side. Then it's ready to go back into the bike. Right, so get the wheel lined up in the swing arm in the uh, caliper bracket. Slide in with the wheel. And you see it slides onto the mounting point in the swing arm. Slide the wheel in, make sure the bearings stay in. Uh, the spacers, sorry. And 
and give your axle a clean a bit of grease on it. And then we put it in with a narrower adjuster block at the bottom. Trying to pick the wheel up. Watching the spaces. be a bit fiddly. And just slide the axle through. And at this side you can just hook the chain back on. Push the wheel forward, just give it a spin and get on the axle ease on the sprocket easier. The adjuster block back on, narrow part to the bottom, get your washer and your nut. I'm going to adjust the chain to the correct free plate and tighten the axle nut. One hundred and ten newton meters, and you put your caliper back on. Make sure you get the pads to sit in the correct place in the bracket. Put the bolts in by hand. Make sure they don't get cross threaded. Tighten them down. The 12 millimeter bolt, 22 newton meters. The 14 millimeter, millimeter bolt, 27 newton meters. Let's pump the back brake. That's the job complete.